to know who we are. We are gentlemen of Japan. On many a bars and jar. On many a screen and fan. We figure in lively pain. Our attitude's queer and quaint. You're wrong if you think it ain't. from the rear. Gentlemen, I pray you tell me where a gentle maiden dwelleth named Yum Yum, the ward of Coco. <laughs> In pity, speak, oh, speak, I pray you. Why, who are you who ask this question? Come, gather round me. And I'll tell you A wandering minstrel I A thing of shreds and patches Of ballad songs and snatches And dreamy lullaby My catalogue is long Through every passion ranging and to your humors changing, I tune my soft song. I tune my soft song. Are you in sentimental mood? I'll sigh with you. Of lovers' fears, with sympathetic tears, my cheeks beat you. Patriotic sentiment is wanted. I have patriotic ballads cut and dried. For an era, country's banner may be planted. All other local banners are defied. Our warriors in serried ranks assembled. I never quail or they conceal it if they do. And I shouldn't be surprised if nations tremble before the mighty truths, the truth of Titi Boo. We shouldn't be surprised if nations tremble, ah. tremble with the love. For the mighty troops, the jewels of Digipo. And if you call for a song of the sea, we'll heave the capstan round. With a yo heave ho, for the wind is free. An anchor's a trip, and a helm's a leap. Hurrah for the homeward bound. Yo ho, heave ho, hurrah for the homeward bound. In a howling breeze may tickle a landsman's taste But the happiest hour a sailor sees Is when he's down at an inland town With his Nancy on his knee Yo-ho! And 
and his arm around her waist. Then man the captain, off we go as the tiller swings us round. To the old depot and around below, around for the homeward bound. To the old depot and around below, yo ho, depot, yo ho, depot, 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 yo ho. I have a song to sing. Act upon it if you can, happy man, if you can. Nothing venture, nothing win, blood is thick, but water thin. In for a penny, in for a pound, it's love that makes the world go. Of ballad songs and snatches and dreamy lullaby and dreamy lullaby. Very sucky motor. Who wants the? Who owns the piano? I do. Name? Nanki Poo. And yours? I. I am Pooba, Lord High. Just about everything, really. What is your business here? I'll tell you. A year ago, I was a member of the Titipu Town Band. It was my duty to pass the cap around for contribution. What? While discharging this delicate office, I saw Yum Yum. <laughs> we loved each other at once, but she was betrothed to her guardian, Coco, a cheap tailor, and I saw that my suit was hopeless. Well, ah, he done it. Huh? Uh, Helen Steins. Oh yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Overwhelmed with despair, I, I quitted the town. But judge my delight when I heard a month ago that Coco had been condemned to death for flirting. Mm. I hurried back at once in the hope of finding Yum Yum. <laughs> <laughs> at liberty to witness my protestations. What? Witness my protestations. No, thank you. <laughs> It is true that Coco was condemned to death for flirting. According to the Mikado's law, but he Mikado. But he was reprieved at the last moment and raised to the exalted rank of Lord High Executioner under the following remarkable circumstances. Take it away. Hey. No, no, sorry, sorry. No, I meant uh, take it away. I, I meant take the piano away, not start the band. When I hear those words, take it away. Yeah, but I just said, the music starts, no, I meant take it away, not take it away. There's just no turning back. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll seek the right. professional sound of uh, professional Okay, I'll sing it then. We'll, we'll sing it. We're going to sing it. Singing positions. Our great Mikado virtue. Mikado. Is that, is that going to happen every time someone says Mikado? Mikado! The show's called the Mikado. It's going to be... Mikado! Well, I wish someone would tell me... We have worked together before, haven't we? Aren't you Rolf Harris? No, I'm not Rolf Harris! Take it away! Take it away! 
So boys had to let you go. That's Rolls Harris. I'm oh, confused, sorry. Mm. I've written my card over to you. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Virtuous man, when he to rule our land began, resolved to try a plan whereby young men might best be steadied. So he decreed in words succinct that all who flirted leered or winked Unless can you be Ali linked should... Can you be Ali linked? It's a Japanese phrase, it means torture and darkness and despair. You know, married. <laughs> should forth with be beheaded, 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 should forth with be beheaded. <laughs> I expect you'll all agree he was right to so decree. And I am right, and you are right, and all is right as right can be. And you are right, and we are right, and all is right as right as right can be. And all is right as right can be. Right as right can be. This turn you'll understand caused great dismay throughout the land the young and old and shy and bold were equally affected the one who winked a roving eye or breathed a non-connubial sigh was what? this non-connubial happiness sunshine single <laughs> was there upon condemned to die usually objected 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 he usually objected <laughs> what? 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 And you'll allow, as I expect, he was right to so object. Uh, forget it, Spot, you've already had the operation. And I am right, and you are right, and everything is quite correct. And you are right, and we are right, and everything is quite, is quite correct. And everything is quite correct. All is quite, quite right. And so we straight let out on bail a convict from the county jail whose head was next on some pretext condemned to be mowed off. And we made him the headsman, for we said, the next one to be decapitated, quiet, <laughs> cannot cut off another's head till he's cut his own off, his own off, his own off, until he's cut his own off. And I am right, I think you'll say, to argue in this kind of way. And I am right, you are right, she'll be right to lure And you are right, and we are right, and she'll be right to lure And you are right, and we are right. And oh, I'm not this face. Coco, the chief tailor, Lord High Executioner of Titipu. Why, well, that's the highest rank a citizen can attain. Uh, at, and how good of you, for I see that you're a nobleman of the highest rank. <laughs> to condescend to tell all this to me. A mere strolling minstrel. Well, don't mention it. I mean, point of fact, a particularly famous person <laughs> of pre Adamite ancestral descent. <laughs> and you will understand this when I tell you. I can trace my family back to a primordial protoplasmal atomic globule. <laughs> Not now, Cato. But consequently, my family pride is inconceivable. I can't help it, I was born this way. But I struggle hard to overcome this defect. I, I mortify my pride continually. When all the great officers of state resigned because they were too proud to serve under an ex-tailor, I unhesitatingly accepted all of their posts at once. Consequently, it is my degrading duty to serve this upstart Coco as First Lord of the Treasury, Aye. Lord Chief Justice, Aye. Commander in Chief, Aye. Lord Mayor, Aye. Event Manager at Ericsson Stadium. Huh? 
It's a very tricky job. <laughs> well, with this Super League thing, the only game the Warriors are going to be playing is, is against Neil Diamond. <laughs> uh, yeah, well. I am also Archbishop of Titipu, Roman Catholic and the rest. Minister for Racing, Leader of the Opposition and Prime Minister. Asshole! I know, I know, it comes with the job. <laughs> but, but, as you can see, I'm a regular one-man band. And you accepted the salaries attached. You did! Yes, all right, I am a poobah paid for his services, a, a mere salaried minion, thus, Am I constantly insulted? I do it, and it revolts me, but I do it. And it does you credit. What? It does you credit. <laughs> no, son, no, no, no. This is an election year. There is no credit. No credit! Nintendo. Nintendo. <laughs> but I do retail state secrets for a very low figure, for example, any further information about <laughs> yum yum <laughs> comes under the heading of a state secret. Oh yes, um, um hold on, I'll just. Oh dear, I've just been insulted again. It's only a light one. Very well, we'll tell you all about <laughs> yum yum. <laughs> well, you won't get the orchestral version. Take it away. Sing. <laughs> And despair likewise go to Yum, yum, the fair you must not do This will not do I'm sorry for you You very imperfect ablution of This very day from school, yum, yum Will went away and home would come With Peter Drum and our own to come To wed the Lord by execution Trumpets spray and the card to dash on their wedding day. She'll toddle away as all of us with the Lord High Executioner. And the brass will crash and the trumpets spray and the card to dash on their wedding day. She'll toddle away as all of us with the Lord High Executioner. It's a hopeless case, as you may see, and in your place away I'd plead. But don't blame me, I'm sorry to be of your pleasure, a diminutioner. What? It means I feel sorry for you. They'll seal their pact extremely soon. In point of fact, this afternoon, a honeymoon with that buffoon at seven command says, so you shall her. And the brass will crash, and the trumpets play, and the cars will dash on their wedding day. She'll toddle away as all of us with the Lord High Execution. And the brass will crash, and the trumpets play, and the cars will dash on their wedding day. She'll toddle away as all of us with the Lord High Execution. With the Lord High Execution. No, I'm sorry, I, I distinctly said everybody. Not just some nice people, while others sit there staring at their programs in their laps, thinking, oh, God, please don't look at me. <laughs> it's a very valid theatrical device intended to establish a rapport between the performers and the audience, and therefore add to the ambience of the evening by breaking down the fourth wall. That's if you're a theatre critic. In truth, it's a bit of a cheap trick to get you all involved, clapping along, making sure you think you enjoy yourselves, because the reality is that most of you haven't got a clue what's happening, have you? <laughs> Well, just forget it. It's colour and movement anyway. So we'll try it again, this time with everybody clapping. And I should point out, too, that if you feel you can hide in the dark or secrete yourself away in the balcony with no one looking, the ushers are everywhere, they're watching, your seats are numbered so we know your names and addresses. <laughs> so can we all try it from, once more, everybody clapping. Here we go, ready? One, two. And the bus will crash, and the and the time Oh, the
behind on board High Executioner. Why is this? Because Coco has already been condemned to death for flirting. I got, and excuse me, there's a coding device. No, Coco, not Coda. Sorry? Sorry, I've got... No, I've got... Oh, no. No, wait. Please. No, we... We haven't finished yet. <laughs> Big finish. Ready? Execution! Hey! And have I journeyed for a month or nearly to learn that yum yum? Whom I love so dearly. This day to Coco is to be united. Yes. yes, old chap, I'm sorry, but it's true. The fact <laughs> appears to be as you've recited. But hark! Here he comes. Oh, no, no, he no, no, no. I think we should try for that note one more time. <laughs> but hark! Here he comes. Uh, 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 missed it by about that much. <laughs> All those singing lessons wasted. But hark! Here he comes. <laughs> Equipped as suits his station. Got any more insults, then? <laughs> no, you're doing pretty well on your own. Then he'll dip you any further information. Taken from the county jail by a set of curious chances, liberated then on bail, on my own recognizances, wafted by a favoring gale, oh, as one sometimes is in trances, to a height that few can scale, save by long and weary dances, surely never had a male. Under such like circumstances, so adventurous a tale which may rank with most romances. Taken from the county jail by a set of curious chances, surely never had a male. So adventurous a tale.
gentlemen. I'm much touched by this reception. I can only trust that by strict attention to duty, I shall ensure a continuance of those favors, which it shall ever be my study to deserve. If I should ever be called upon to act professionally, I am happy to think there will be no difficulty in finding plenty of people whose loss will be a distinct gain to society at large. <laughs> As someday it may happen that a victim must be found, I've got a little list, I've got a little list of society offenders who might well be underground and who never would be missed who never would be missed. There's the prying paparazzi always taking photographs, or fellows who have flabby hands and irritating laughs. <laughs> all those who think the prostate's lying flat upon the mat, or persons who on shaking hands shake hands with you like <laughs> that. Huh. And all third persons who on spoiling tater tates insist they'd none of them be missed. They'll none of them be missed. He's got them on the list. He's got them on the list. And they'll none of them be missed. They'll none of them be missed. And dog owners who leave their doggies do about the place call me a dogmatist. Stamp it out, I insist. Oh. Graffiti, dull and boring, look for wit, there's not a trace. As funny as a cyst, it never would be missed. There's the idiot who praises with enthusiastic tone. All centuries but this, and every country but his own. And commercials from America that tell us what to buy. That if we wear our Nike sports, we too can jump sky high. And that singular anomaly, the tactful journalist, I don't think they exist, so I'm sure they'll not be missed. He's got them on the list, he's got them on the list, and they'll none of them be missed, they'll none of them be missed. And Greg Chappell, who's underarm, we can't deodorize. He should have been dismissed, or loudly booed and hissed. And now he claims he was quite mad, we do apologize. He's gone right round the twist, like Fergie's shopping list. <laughs> Computers that go down on you, but please don't tell Hugh Grant. <clears throat> he thought Divine Brown did a job computers can't supplant. But I think I might be careful. People have been known to sue. So the task of filling out the blanks, I'd rather leave to you. But it really doesn't matter whom you put upon your list. For they'll none of them be missed. They'll none of them be missed. You may put them on the list. You may put them on the list. And they'll none of them be missed. They'll none of them be missed. I think I have room on my list for one or two more. Uh, you and uh, you. Aha! Puba! Puba! Aha! Puba! Hey, young ducky dung 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 da. Puba! Puba! Hey, young ducky dung 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 da. He's in Puba's pay. <laughs> Puba! <laughs> It seems that the festivities in connection with my approaching marriage must last a week. I should like to do it handsomely. And I want to consult you as to the amount we ought to spend upon them. The, the amount? Why, certainly in which of my capacities, First Lord of the Treasury, Lord Chief Justice, Commander-in-Chief, Travel Agent perhaps, Private Secretary? Suppose we say Private Secretary. Very good. Well, speaking as your Private Secretary, I should have to say... <clears throat> Yeah. 
The city is going to have to pay for it, so don't stint yourself and do it well. Exactly! As the city will have to pay for it. That is your advice. It is. Yes! But of course you realize, as treasurer, it is my duty to see that due economy is observed. But you said just now, don't stint yourself, do it well. Yes, as private secretary. And now you say due economy must be observed? Yes, as treasurer. Oh, I see. Well, come over here where the treasurer can't hear us. <laughs> now, as my solicitor, how do you advise me to handle this difficulty? Very good. Well, speaking as your solicitor... No, no. Speaking as your friend. <laughs> I should have to say it's probably a fiddle, son. Go for it, because everyone else does. Thank you! I will! Yes. <laughs> but then again... As Lord Chief Justice, it is my duty to see that the law is not violated. Oh, I see. We'll come over here where the Chief Justice can't hear us. No, the Treasurer's not still here, is he? No, oh, he's back in the box. Oh, now, as Minister for Finance... Yes, of course, as Minister for Finance, I could propose a vote that would cover all expenses. Yes! Were it not for the fact that as Leader of the Opposition... It would be my duty to fight it tooth and nail. Damn! However, what? As Commissioner for Taxation, I could so fiddle the books that myself, as Lord High Auditor, would have no knowledge of the fraud. <laughs> Were it not for the fact that as Archbishop of Titipu, Roman Catholic and the rest, it would be my solemn duty to denounce my own dishonesty and turn myself over into my own custody as... Commissioner of Police. Aren't you already in jail? No, that's Australia. God damn! But, but this, is, this is not to say that all of these distinguished gentlemen may not be, you know, um, swayed with a rather considerable insult. <laughs> the matter shall have my careful consideration. Oh. Ah, but my bride and her sisters approach. Any little compliment on your part, such as an abject grovel in a characteristic Japanese attitude, would be esteemed a favor. <laughs> Sorry, son. It's the money or the box. <laughs> no, 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 no. Three little maids from school are we, hard as a schoolgirl well can be, filled to the brim with girlish glee. Three little maids from school, everything. It's a source of fun. <laughs> Nobody's safe, but we care for none. Life is a joke that's just begun. <laughs> oh. Three little maids from school. Three little maids who fall out where we come from a lady. Sam and Abby, Beach, what's genius? Jim's from Larry. Three little maids from school. from school from four little maids take one away three little maids remain and they won't have to wait very long to say three little maids from school Three little maids who look 
Look so haughty, fresh out of school and feeling sporty. Give us a chance and we'll be naughty. Kiss you after them, you'll be all wet and sloppy. <laughs> it seems odd, doesn't it? Oh, well, it is rather peculiar. I guess it's okay. You've got to start somewhere. <laughs> well, of course, I know nothing about these things. <laughs> but I've no objection if it's usual. Oh, yes, it's quite usual. I think. Yes. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Thank goodness that's over. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Morning, morning, morning. On. Will you present me? Oh, this is oh, one at a time. If you please. If you please, this is the gentleman who used to perform so beautifully on the, on the um. Oh, the Ray Wolf show. Yes, I think that was it. Is he that old? <laughs> Sir, I have the misfortune to love your ward, Yum Yum. Oh, I know I deserve your anger. But... My anger? Not a bit, my boy. Why, I love her myself. Pooba! Charming, isn't she? Pretty eyes, lovely hair, got the lot, really. Pooba! Oh. Oh. I'm glad to hear my opinion backed up by a competent authority. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Take him away. Take him away. <clears throat> I, excuse me, who are the... Uh... Cheeky babes, little maids. <laughs> Allow me to present a you. Puma, First Lord of the Treasury, Lord Chief Justice, and Commander in Chief. These are my four wards. Oh, please allow me. <clears throat> this works very well in Australia. This <clears throat> <laughs> works here too. The one on the end is my bride elect. Well, congratulations, elect. Well done. <laughs> no, no, Pooh, Pooh, poo, please. Don't encourage them. They can't help it. They're in therapy for it. Physio? Nah, psycho. Come on, you bunch of nuts. Stop his story, much regret if we have failed in etiquette. Oh, no, no. To what's a memory so high, we shall know better by and by. But <laughs> youth, of course, must have its flings of hardness, so hardness. And don't in girlhood's happy spring be hard on us, be hard on us. If we're inclined to dance and sing, tra la 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 la. But you, of course, must have its flings so hard on us. And don't in girlhood's happy spring be hard on us. You, of course. Must have its wings so hard in us. Tra la 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 la. Tra la 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 la. Tra la 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 la. Tra la 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 la. I think you want to recollect. You cannot show too much respect. Towards a highly titled few, but nobody does, so why should you? That youth, of course, must have its fling. It's pardon us, pardon us to our prerogatives we cling. Pardon us, pardon us, but I decline to dance and sing. Little, 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 Oh, 
Oh, at last we are alone. Oh, I have sought you night and day for three weeks in the belief that your guardian was beheaded, and I find that you are to be married to him this afternoon. Alas, yes. But you do not love him. Alas, no. Then why do you not refuse him? What good would that do? He's my guardian, and he wouldn't let me marry you. But I would wait until you are of age. You forget that in Japan, girls do not arrive at years of discretion until they are 50. True, from 17 to 49 are considered years of indiscretion. Besides, a wandering minstrel playing second keyboard outside tea houses is hardly a fitting husband for the ward of a Lord High Executioner. But, I, oh, shall I tell her? Yeah, tell her! Yes, she will not betray me. What if it should prove that I am not a musician? There, I was certain of it as soon as I heard you play. <laughs> <laughs> what if it should prove that I am no other than the son of the Mikado? The son of the Mikado? Is your highness disguised? And what has your highness done? And will your highness promise never to do it again? See, oh, uh, hello. Some time ago, I had the misfortune to captivate Katisha, a powerful lady of my father's court. She misconstrued my customary affability. <laughs> into expressions of affection, and claimed me in marriage under my father's law. My father ordered me to marry her within a week, or perish ignominiously on the scaffold. That night I fled his court, and assuming the disguise of a second keyboard, <laughs> I joined the band in which you found me, when I had the happiness of seeing you. If you please, I think your highness had better not come too near. The laws against flirting are excessively severe. Oh, but we are quite alone and... And, <laughs> and nobody can see us. Still, that doesn't make it right. To flirt is capital. It is capital. <laughs> and we must obey the law. Oh, if it wasn't for the law, how happy we might be. Happy indeed. If it wasn't for the law, we should now be sitting side by side like this. Instead of being obliged to sit half a mile off like this. <laughs> Gazing into each other's eyes like this. Breathing sighs of unutterable love like this. Oh. <sighs> With our arms around each other, like this. Like this? Yes. Oh, if it wasn't for the law. Oh, if it wasn't for the law. As it is, of course, we couldn't do anything of the kind. Uh, not for worlds. Being engaged to Coco, you know. Being engaged to Coco. Were you not too Coco plighted, I would say. In tender tone, loved one, let us be united, let us be each other's own. I would merge all rank and station, worldly sneers are not to us, and to mark my admiration, I would kiss you fondly. I would kiss you fondly thus. But as I'm engaged to call the flu, I'm ready to dust and walk the flu. Just take me in and do the plan for the session. Get to talk or so in spite of all temptation. Such a thing. And on no consideration will I kiss you for me thus. Will I kiss you for me thus? Let 
let me make it clear to you This is what I'll never do This, all oh, this, all oh, this, all oh, this This is what I'll never, never do This, all oh, this, all oh, this, all oh, this This is what you'll never do You'll never do The Lord High Executioner. Chop. <laughs> what the? Oh. There she goes. Oh. To think how entirely my future happiness is tied up in that little, little parcel. Oh, really, it hardly seems worthwhile. Oh, matrimony. <laughs> what is this? Can't you see I'm soliloquizing? You've interrupted an apostrophe, sir. Oh, so did he. Not now, Cato. I bring a message from His Majesty, the Mikar... The Big M. <laughs> what in the world can he have to say to me? No, read it. Oh, okay. This is in Japanese. <laughs> and English. <laughs> Here it is at last. What? I knew it would have to come sooner or later. What? <laughs> The Mikado. Yeah, him. Mikado is struck by the fact that no executions have taken place in Titipu for a year and decrees that unless somebody is beheaded within a month, the post of Lord High Executioner shall be abolished and the city reduced to the rank of a village. A village? A what? A village, idiot. <laughs> reduced to the rank of a village? But, but that'll make us... That'll... That'll make us... That'll make us the village people! Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> stop that, stop it! This will involve us all in irretrievable ruin. Yes, there is no help for it. I shall have to execute somebody at once. The only question is, who shall it be? Well, it does seem rather unkind to say so, old chap, but since you are already under sentence of death for flirting, everything seems to point to you. Ah, to me? What are you talking about? I can't execute myself. Why, Why not? not? Why not? Well, because, in the first place, self-decapitation is an extremely difficult... <laughs> oh. Not to say dangerous thing to attempt. And second... It's suicide, and suicide is a capital offence. Yes, well, I'm terribly sorry, but unless you can find a substitute... Ha! Yes. Of course, substitute. Nothing easier, Pooba. I appoint you, Lord High Substitute. Well, I'm a substitute. For another guy. I look pretty tall. Your heels are high. Yes, such an appointment would realise my fondest dreams. Yep. <laughs> but no! What? No, at any cost, I must set bounds. To my insatiable ambition. Oh. Take it away. Take it away. No, here, take it away. Oh, here. You take, take it, away. it away. Never mind. I am so proud, if I allowed my family pride to be my guide. I'd volunteer to quit this sphere instead of you in a minute or two. Yeah. Ah! Help! I'm blind! It's cut off my head! Help! It, oh. it was only my hair. You should do something with it. Well, I've been trying, but... Well, it won't happen overnight, but it will happen. Yeah. 
But family pride can be denied and set aside and mortified and mortified. My brain it teems with endless schemes, both good and new, for titty po, for titty po. But if I flit the benefit that I diffuse, the town would lose. Now every man to aid his clan must plot and plan as best he can. And so, although I wish to go yeah. and greatly pine to brightly shine and take the line of a hero fine with grief condign, I must decline. Yeah. And go and show my friend and foe how much you dare. I'm quite aware it's your affair. Yet I declare, I take your share, but I don't much care. I must, so I object. I must, so I object. So I object. So I object. So I object. I must, so I object. I must, 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 I
see them, but they'll be there all the same. Do you really think that Yum Yum would be distracted by my death? I am convinced of it. I should be sorry to cause her pain. I, yeah. I know how we'll manage it. How? Let me marry Yum Yum tomorrow, and in a month you can behead me. Oh. And you can marry her then. Yeah, I never thought of that. After all, it is only putting off my wedding for a month. Oh, but, 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 but. You won't prejudice her against me, will you? Oh. You see, she's been educated to be my wife. She's been taught to think of me as a wise and good man. I wouldn't like her views on that point disturbed. Trust me, she shall never learn the truth from me. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I was just uh, buying another house in, in Howick. <laughs> Two, ask you what you mean to do, we punctually appear. Congratulate me, gentlemen, I found a volunteer. The Japanese are quicker than here, here, here. Tis Nanki Poo. Hail Nanki Poo. I think he'll do. Yes, yes, he'll do. He yells his life if I'll yum yum surrender. Four. Now I adore that girl with passion tender and could not yield her with a ready will, nor her a lot if I did not adore myself with passion tender still. With passion tender still. Ah, yes, he loves himself with passion, tenderness. Take her. She's yours. <laughs> no, not you, Pooh! Nanky Pooh. Four. Take her. She's yours. <laughs> Cloud has passed away. Although the night may come too soon. Then let us go in a joy of a sweet laughing song and merry dust. And let them throw our joy at us. Sweet laughing song and merry dust. Sweet laughing song and merry dust. Sweet laughing song. Sweet joy is shouting, joy is shouting. Months you have to die if Coco tells us true. <coughs> to a empty compliment, to cry long life to Nanky Poo. <coughs> but as of months you have to live as fellow citizen. <coughs> This toast with three times three we give. Excuse me, just <coughs> long life to you. I haven't finished yet. Long life to you. Long. And tall and tan and lovely. Uh, I just invented karaoke. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Have you been drinking? Of course I've been drinking. I have to. Why is that? I'm the ambassador to Australia. <laughs> Long life to you. Are you sure you're not the Prime Minister? <laughs> Till then. Hey, all the world, you all the world, you prosper, you. Hey, you have help, hey, you have help and riches. Hey, all the world, you prosper, you. Hey, you have help and riches. Hey, you succeed in all you do. Don't let the world do you till then. Assist me 
all of you. Why do we sing so jeepers? I bring such a love I claim my perjured lover, Nanky Poo. Thank you. Oh, fool to shun delight that never cloy. Oh, me, the deadly work undone. Come back, oh, shallow fool. Come back to joy. Away, away, you save and run. Ah, tis Catty Shaw, the maid of whom I told you. No, you shall not go. These arms shall thus enfold you. O oh, fool that fleest my hallowed joys, O oh, blind that seest no equipoise, O oh, rash that judges from half the whole, O oh, base that grudges love's lie to stall, thy heart unbind, O oh, fool, O oh, blind, give me my place, O oh, rash, O oh, base, thy heart unbind, give me my place, O oh, fool, O oh, blind, O oh, rash, O oh, base, thy heart unbind, give me Give me my place. Give she my bride, restore her place. O fool, O blind, O rash, O base. Pink cheek that rulest my wisdom serves. Bright eye that foolest heroic nerve. Rose lip that scornest law laid on years. Smooth tongue that warnest who rightly hears. Thy Pink cheek, bright eye, thy name is wrong. Rose lip, smooth tongue, thy doom is nigh, thy nail is wrong. Pink cheek, bright eye, rose lip, smooth tongue, thy doom is wrong. From our intentions well expressed, you cannot turn us. The state of your can you be of use to what the person you accuse does not concern us?
was won, this insult you shall rue. In vain for mercy, on your knees you'll see you. I'll tear the mask from your disguising. Now comes the blow. Prepare yourselves for new surprising. How foil my foe. No minstrel he, despite bravado. <laughs> I know he is the son of young. In vain you interrupt with this tornado. He is the only son of yours. I'll spoil your gay gumbado. He is the son. Aren't you glad you bought a 
grave on by the tongue. When the face looks wan, take a fine airbrush and to turn him on, use artificial blush. <gasps> Modesty and thrift go side by side, presents for the pretty bride. Modesty and marriage tide go to make a pretty bride. Braid the raven hair, spray and lacquer it with new egg glass. Deck the maiden fair, do it gently or she might deck us. Paint the pretty face so his lips will swoon. Naturally, he'll trace our technique to be done so soon. Art and nature, the sunlight, go to make a pretty bright. Make art and nature, the sunlight, go to make a pretty bright. I am indeed beautiful. Sometimes I sit and wonder in my artless Japanese way why it is that I am so much more attractive than anyone else in the whole world. Hmm. Could this be vanity? No. Nature is lovely and rejoices in her loveliness. Oh! I am a child of nature! And I take after my mother! The sun whose rays are all ablaze with ever living glory does not deny his majesty.
Yes, everything seems to smile upon me. I'm to be married today to the man I love best, and I believe I'm the very happiest girl in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> happiest girl indeed, for she is indeed to be envied who has attained happiness in all but perfection. <laughs> in all but perfection? Well, dear, the fact that your husband's going to be beheaded in a month does seem to be a bit of a drawback. <laughs> it does seem to take the top off things. <laughs> on such a day if my married happiness is to be cut short <laughs> well cut short in a month oh can't you let me forget it <laughs> yum yum in tears and on her wedding morn they've just been reminding me that you're to be beheaded in a month oh, how some bridegrooms would be depressed by that sort of thing <laughs> a month ah oh, what's a month these divisions of time are purely arbitrary who says 24 hours makes a day? There's a popular impression to that effect. <laughs> then we'll face it. We'll call each second a minute, each minute an hour, each hour a day, and each day a year. At that rate, we've about 30 years of married happiness before us. And at that rate, this interview has already lasted four hours and three quarters. <laughs> Which makes it lunchtime. I'm starved. <laughs> Let's eat. Oh, come on, oh, Amy. Oh, 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 Yes, how time flies when one is thoroughly enjoying oneself. That's the way to look at it. Come on, let's not be downhearted. Oh, no, I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. Oh, go on, go on, go on. Don't mind me. I'm afraid we're distressing you. No, 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 never mind. I must get used to it. Only please, do it by degrees. Begin by putting your arm around her waist. Like that? Yes, yes. Let me get used to that first. Wouldn't you like to retire? It must pain you to see us so affectionate together. No, I must learn to bear it. Now, oblige me by allowing her head to rest on your shoulder. Like this? Yes, yes. I'm much obliged to you. Now, kiss her. Yeah, thank you! Ah, this is simple torture. Oh, come, come, bear up. After all, it's only for a month. No! It's no use deluding oneself with false hopes. What, what do, do you, you mean? mean? Oh, my child. Oh, my poor child. Oh, how shall I break it to her? Just tell her. Oh, all right, all right. My little bride. That was to have been. Was to have been? Yes. You never can be mine. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> <laughs> morning, morning, morning. Oh, I have just ascertained that by the Mikado's... That by his law, when a married man is beheaded, his wife is buried alive. Buried, buried alive. alive? Yes. Buried alive, buried alive. Ah, 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 ah. Buried alive. It's a most unpleasant death. But who did you get that from? The Bee Gees. <laughs> the who? No, not the who. Some old rocker. Pooh Bar. Remember him? He's my solicitor. But he may be mistaken. Well, so I thought. So I consulted the Attorney General, the Auditor General, the Cook Islands Tax Commissioner. <laughs> They're all of the same opinion. Bury it! <laughs> I've never known such unanimity on the point of law in my life. Darling, I don't want to appear selfish. And I love you with all my heart. <laughs> in fact, I don't think I've ever loved anyone else half as much. But you see, when I agreed to marry you, 
I had no idea that I should be buried alive in a month. Nor I. It's the very first I've heard of it. It makes a difference, doesn't it? Oh, it does make a difference. Of, of course. You see, buried alive, it's such a stuffy death. I call it a beast of a death. You see my difficulty, don't you? Yes, and I see my own. If I insist on you carrying out your promise, I doom you to a hideous death. If I release you, you marry Coco at once. Oh! Here's a howdy do if I marry you. When your time has come to perish, then the maiden whom you cherish must be slaughtered too. Here's a howdy do, here's a howdy do. Here's a pretty mess. In a month or less, I must die without a wedding. Let the bitter tears I'm shedding witness my distress. Here's a pretty mess. Here's a pretty mess. Here's a state of things. To her life she clings. Matrimonial devotion doesn't seem to suit her notion. Very all it brings. Here's a state of things. Here's a state of things. With a passion that's intense, I worship and adore. But the laws of common sense we oughtn't to ignore. If what I say is true, tis death to marry you. Here's a pretty state of things. Here's a pretty how do you do. Here's a pretty state of things. A pretty state of things. Here's a how do you do. 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 Here's a how do Here's a pretty how do you do? Here's a pretty state of things, a pretty state of things. Here's a how do you do? Here's a how do you do? For if what he says is true, I cannot, cannot marry you. Here's a pretty, pretty state of things. Ha! Wait, here's a slippery slope. If you both elope, chippy chop or two that's clammy. Either way, it's a double whammy. Couldn't really cope. Not a lot of hope, <laughs> worse than any soap. And with a passion that's intense, I worship and adore. But the laws of common sense we oughtn't to ignore. If what I say is true, tis death to marry you. Here's a pretty state of things, here's a pretty how you do. Here's a pretty state of things, a pretty state of things. Here's a howdy, here's a howdy, here's a howdy. Here's a howdy. For if what I say is true, I cannot, cannot marry you. Here's a pretty, pretty state of. Here's a pretty, 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 pretty state of things. Here's a pretty. How do you do? You know, my boy, I really feel quite sorry for you. <laughs> Thanks, old fellow. I'm sure you do. Yeah, so do I. But you see, I'm quite helpless. Yes, we see. I can't think of anything more distressing than to have one's marriage broken off at the last moment. But you shan't miss out on the wedding. You can come to mine. You can come to mine. <laughs> that's awfully kind of you, but that's impossible. Why so? Today? I die. What do you mean? I can't live without yum yum. Whoa. <laughs> this afternoon, I perform the happy dispatch. No! I can't allow that! Why not? Why, hang it all, you're under contract to die by the hands of the public executioner within a month. If you kill yourself, what's to become of me? I shall have to be executed in your place. It would appear so. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> what is it? It's a letter, and it says His Majesty and his suite will be here in ten minutes! He's coming to see whether we've carried out his orders! Yes. Now look here, you know, this is getting serious! A bargain's a bargain, and you really mustn't frustrate the ends of justice by committing suicide as a man of honour! And a gentleman, you are bound to die ignominiously at the hands of the public executioner. Oh, very well then. Behead me. Oh. What? Now? Certainly, at once. Well, come on, whack it off, chop, chop, it won't hurt you. Let's no, no, go, no, let's no, go. No, 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 my good fellow. 
I don't go about prepared to execute gentlemen at a moment's notice. Why not? I'm not ready for it. I don't know how it's done. Oh, I'm going to take lessons. Oh, come on. No, nobody ever killed a cockroach. Ah, I can't kill you. I can't kill anything. I can't, I can't, I can't. I, I can't kill anybody. Give me a hanky nanky. Oh. Thank you. Oh, that's better. Oh, no, it's not. Oh. No. Oh, come, come, my poor fellow. We... <laughs> we all have unpleasant duties to discharge at times. I... Oh. 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 After all, what is it? If I... What? If I don't mind, why should you? Remember, sooner or later, it must be done. Must it? I'm not so sure about that. What do you mean? Well, why should I kill you when making out an affidavit that I've beheaded you will do just as well? There are plenty of witnesses here. The Lord Chief Justice, the Lord High Admiral, the Commander... In chief, the executive editor of the Chitipu TV Guide. But where are they? There they are! And they'll all swear to it, won't you? Am I to understand that all of us high officers of state are required to perjure ourselves in order to ensure your safety? Why not? You'll be grossly insulted as usual. Oh, insulted. Grossly. What is that, cash? You take bank cards? No credit! Oh, I forgot my purse. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll get one from the audience. Excuse me! Is there somebody down here got a purse I can borrow? Can I borrow somebody's purse, please? Can I, can I, can I, uh, can I borrow your purse, please? Can I? Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me! Thank you very much! Goodness me! Gee whiz! Oh, you get the cheap seats and want to keep your purse? I don't know. Here, I'll put this in there as a bonus. Oh, that's not her purse. Isn't it? No, it's the property of Richard Lowe. Ah! <laughs> Very good. Name your fiction and I shall endorse it. Yes, but I tell you that life without yum yum. No, oh, yum 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 yum. Bother, bother, bum, bum. <laughs> Commissioner, go fetch yum yum. Four. 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 Look, take yum yum, marry yum yum, only go away and never come back again. Ah! Yum's bum. <laughs> yum yum! Are you particularly busy? No, not particularly. Have you got a spare five minutes? Yes. Then, go with His Grace, the Archbishop of Titty Poo. He'll marry you at once. All right, no, then. No, not you, Poo! But you Nanky Poo! But if I no, don't, don't ask questions, just do as I tell you. Nanky Poo will explain all. Yes, but one No, not the walls! He's coming! And if he finds you alive, I shall have great difficulty in explaining that I've beheaded you. Now go! 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 You too, Poo! You too, Poo? I thought he looked Fijian.
My morals have been declared particularly correct. But they don't forget Paul compared with those of his daughter in law, he led. Paul to his daughter in law. Kind of a way I govern each tribe and sect. All oh, cheerfully own my sway. Except his daughter in law elect. As tough as a bone with a wheel of her own. This is daughter in law elect. My nature is love and delight. My freedom from all defect. Is insignificant quite compared with his daughter in law elect. Did in Japan exist? To nobody second, I'm certainly reckoned a true philanthropist. <coughs> It is my very humane endeavor to make, to some extent, each evil liver a running river of harmless merriment. In time, to let the punishment fit the crime, the punishment fit the crime, and make each prisoner pay unwillingly represent a source of innocent merriment, of innocent merriment, a source of innocent merriment, of innocent merriment. The advertising quack who wearies with tales of countless cures. His teeth I've enacted shall all be extracted by terrified amateurs. <laughs> the fashionable figures who strut on the catwalk and need to swallow their pride are tied to a rack and forced fed a Big Mac and then slowly Kentucky fried. All leaders who test nuclear weapons away from their own outback are sent on a global cook's tour of Chernobyl and dunked there with Jack Chirac. The idiot who's an Elvis spotter in out-of-the-way locals. <laughs> hey, hey, uh. <laughs> well, thank you very much, ma'am. Ah, uh, wonderful, ma'am. Thank you, ah. Uh. Is vivisected and then subjected to every CD of Kamal's. My object all sublime, I shall achieve in time. Let the punishment fit the crime, the punishment fit the crime. And make each prisoner pen unwillingly represent a source of innocent merriment, of innocent merriment. Pubescent skateboard rider who cuts in and drives you nuts is chained as a tripper on board the Big Dipper until he has spewed his guts. Those headbanging halfwits whose radios blast us, their noise they refuse to stem, are given short shrift 
Then locked in a lift Playing classics on Concert FM But most of all That modern day menace Who takes opinion polls He's first if new then Barbecued over red hot burning coals The lunatic salesman Who raves on the telly Disrupting our tranquil lives Is sliced to the pith Most appropriately with a set of his own steak knives. But wait, there's more. <laughs> My optical sublime, I shall achieve in time. Let the punishment fit the crime. The punishment fit the crime. And make each prisoner pay Unwillingly represent A force of innocent men Of innocent merry men He's a gentle sublime He will achieve his plan To let the punishment fit the crime The punishment fit the crime Our people! And make each prisoner pay Punishment for the crime. Yes! Punishment for the crime. Yes! Yeah. And you call me an old rocker. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Get down, get yeah, down. I, I can still get down. No, 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 no. Get down, get down. This will get you down, oh. get down. I'm honoured in being permitted to welcome your majesty. I guess the object of your majesty's visit, your wishes have been attended to. The execution has taken place. Shoot. Oh, you've had an execution. I ask the questions. I give the answers. <laughs> <clears throat> what was the question again? Oh, you had an execution. What was the answer? Yes! Yes! <laughs> the coroner has just handed me his certificate. I am the coroner. Aren't you Rolf Harris? No! <laughs> you sit down. They all look the same to me. <laughs> and uh, this is the certificate or of his death. Yes. A titty pool in the presence of a Lord the Chief of Justice, Lord Achenziro, Attorney General. Minister for Bloomer Repairs. <laughs> oh, I mean Consumer Affairs. <laughs> I love his jokes. <laughs> and the Lord the Mayor. Yes, they were all present, Your Majesty. I counted them myself. Very good house. I wish I'd been in time for the performance. Oh, he was a very tough fellow. A man of gigantic strength. His struggles were terrific. It was a really remarkable scene. <laughs> Describe it. Oh. Come on, come on. Oh. 
The criminal cried as he dropped him down in a state of wild alarm. With a frightful, frantic, fearful frown, I bared my big right arm. I seized him by his little <laughs> pigtail. And on his knees fell he As he squirmed and struggled and gurgled and doubled I drew my snickers knee My snickers knee mm, Oh, never shall I forget the cry Or the shriek that shaked me As I gnashed my teeth when from its sheath I drew my snickers knee <laughs> When all of a sudden his eye met mine And it seemed to brace his nerve For he nodded his head and kissed his pad And whistled and added he As the fave of truth cut clingly through His cervical vertebrae His vertebrae When a, when a, when a man's afraid A beautiful maid is a cheery sight to see That head was dead, for its owner dead was he. It sat on its neck with a smile well bred and bowed three times to me. It was none of your impudent offhand nods, but as humble as could be. For it clearly knew the deference due to a man of pedigree. Of pedigree. Ugh. It's silicon. <laughs> oh, I vow this deathly bow was a touching sight to see. Though trunkless yet, it couldn't forget the deference due to me. It's all to you, it's days of truth, wherever he finds it fails. Hey! And in this case, it all took place exactly as he says. Exactly, 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 exactly. All this is all very interesting, and I should like to have seen it, but we came about a totally different matter. Oh. A year ago, my son, the heir to the throne of <sighs> Japan, <laughs> bolted from our imperial court. Indeed? Had he, had, he, had, he, had he any reason to be dissatisfied with his position? None whatsoever. On the contrary. I was going to marry him, yet he fled. Oh, I am surprised that he fled from one so lovely. Oh, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> no. You hold that I am not beautiful because my face is plain, but you know nothing. You are still unenlightened. Learn then that it is not in the face alone that beauty is to be sought. Why, my right elbow has a fascination few can resist. Oh, really? May I? It is on view Tuesdays and Fridays on presentation of a visiting card. And as for my circulation, it is the largest in the world! And yet, he fled! And is now masquerading in this town disguised as a second keyboarder player. A, a second, second keyboarder player? player? Yes, would it be troubling you too much if I asked you to produce him? He goes by the name of Nappy San. Nanky Poo! Nanky Poo! Nanky Who? Nanky Poo! Who Poo? It's quite easy. No, 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 it's rather difficult. In point of fact, he's training for the Olympics. No, 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 he's a 
He's abroad. Oh, he's abroad! He's abroad! Abroad? He's abroad! Where? 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 Twizel? <laughs> ah! What's the matter? See here, his name, Nanky Poo, beheaded this morning. Oh, where shall I find another? Where shall I find another? Here, here, here. This is a very tiresome. My poor fellow, in your anxiety to carry out my wishes, you have beheaded the heir to the throne of Ooh. Japan. Unqualified apology. I decide to associate myself with this expression of regret. We really had the least notion. Of course you hadn't. How could you? Come, come, grasshoppers. Do not distress yourselves. It was no fault of yours. I'm sure he thoroughly deserved all he got. Besides, how could you tell? I forget the punishment for compassing the death of the heir apparent. Punishment? Yes. Something a ring a ring. With a boiling oil in it, I fancy. Something of that sort, but I'm not sure. I know it's something humorous. <laughs> not ringering. <laughs> With either a boiling oil or... Melted lead. Oh, come, come, don't flit. I'm not a bit angry. Well, if, 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 if your majesty will accept our assurance, we had no idea. We knew nothing about it. Oh, I wasn't even there. That's the pathetic part of it. Unfortunately, the fool of an act says, compassing the death of the heir apparent. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll have what she's having. Uh. In the act, there's not a word about a mistake. No. Or not knowing. No. Or having no notion. No. Or not being there. No. There should be, of course. Yes. yes. But there isn't. Oh. That's a slovenly way in which these acts are always drawn. However, cheer up. It'll be all right. I'll have it altered. Oh. <laughs> Next session. Oh. Now, let's see about your execution. Will after runcheon suit you? Can you wait till then? Oh, yes, yes we can wait till then. Then we'll make it after runcheon. Oh, I don't want any runcheon. <laughs> I'll have his. Shh. I'm really so sorry for you all, but it's an unjust world. And virtue is triumphant only in theatrical performances. This is a nice mess you've got us into with your nodding head and deference due to a man of pedigree. Well, it was merely corroborative detail intended to give artistic verisimilitude to an otherwise bold and unconvincing narrative. Corroborative detail indeed! Corroborative fiddlesticks! Oh, and you're just as bad as he is with your cock and bull story about catching his eye and whistling an air. But it's just like you. You always got to stick your oar in. <laughs> what about you and your big right arm, eh? Oh. Yes! And your snicker-snee! Well, you leave my snicker-snee out of this. <laughs> There's only one thing to be done. Nanky Poo hasn't started yet. We've got to bring him back to life again at once. And here he is. Oh, what a stroke of luck. <laughs> Nanky Poo, Nanky Poo, good news. You've been reprieved. Oh, but you're too late. I'm a dead man and I'm off on my honeymoon. No, 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 no nonsense. Something terrible has just happened. It appears you're the son of the Mikado. Mikado. Yes, but that happened some time ago. <laughs> this is no time for airy persiflage. Your father is here, and with Katisha. My father? And with Katisha? Is there an echo? Yes! And he wants you particularly. So does she. But he's married now. My dear child, what has that got to do with anything? Katisha claims me in marriage, but I cannot marry her because I am already married. Consequently, she will insist on my execution, and if I am executed, my wife will have to be buried alive. Four. You see our difficulty, don't you? 
yet. I don't know what's to be done. There is one chance for you. If you could persuade Catty Shah to marry you, then she would have no further claim over me, and I could come to life without any fear of being put to death. Bye. I married Catty Shah. Good idea. What about Irene? Get away. I really think it's the only course. My dear child, have you seen her? She's something appalling. <laughs> and that's just her face. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. She's got a couple of very good points. And then... And she's got this elbow, it's all... <laughs> People come from miles to see her elbow. My dear sir, <laughs> I decline to pin my heart on any woman's... <laughs> elbow. It comes to this. While Kadishar is single, I prefer to be a disembodied spirit. When Kadishar is married, my existence will be as welcome as the flowers in spring. The flowers that bloom in the spring, tra-la, brief promise of merry sunshine. As we merrily dance and we sing, tra-la, we welcome the hope that they bring, tra-la, of a summer of roses and wine, of a summer of roses and wine. And that's what I mean when I say that a thing is welcome as flowers that bloom in the spring. Tra la la la, tra la 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 la, the flowers that bloom in the spring. Tra la la la, tra la la la, tra la 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 la. The flowers that bloom in the spring, tra la, have nothing to do with the case. For I've got to take under my wing, tra la, a most unattractive old thing, tra la, with a caricature of a face, with a caricature of a face. And that's what I mean when I say, or I sing. Oh, bugger the flowers that bloom in the spring, tra la 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 la, la 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 la, bother the flowers in spring, tra la la la, tra la la la, tra la 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 la. One flower that blooms in the spring, tra-la, needs plucking and that double quick. Her dynasty's older than Ming, tra-la, but one way to make it a fling, tra-la, think of her as a spring chick. Yes, yeah, she's, she's really, really a little, little spring chick. Yes. Her skin is not all that incredibly thick. <laughs> I mean to burst her balloon just takes one little... <laughs> tra-la, la la la, tra-la la la la, I think I hear wedding bells ring. The flowers that bloom in the spring, tra la, are quickly becoming a bore. Cause I'm not a complete dingaling, tra la. But it boils down to one simple thing, tra la. Find her desirable, or bet your life it's a final long course. So marry the cat, or will all of us swing? A bunch of dead flowers and one ding a ling. Tra la 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 la, tra la 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 la, flowers that bloom in the spring. Sing tra la la la, tra la la la. Oh, 
heart's gonna break They sting and ache For old love's sake that do not die For with each breath They long for death As witness saith the living eye The living eye Oh, living eye Come, tell me why When hope is gone Dost thou stay on? Why linger here where all is drear? Oh, living eye, come tell me why. When hope is gone, dost thou stay on? Not a cheated maiden die. May not a cheated maiden die. The miscreant who robbed me of my love But vengeance pursues They are heating the cauldron Gaddisha, behold the humble suppliant at your feet Gaddisha, mercy Mercy? Had you mercy on him? See here you You have slain my love He did not love me but he would have in time. I am an acquired taste. <laughs> Only the educated palate can appreciate me. I was educating his palate when he left me, and now he is dead, and where shall I find another? It takes years to train a man to love me. Oh, where shall I find another? <laughs> Here? Here? What? What? Uh, 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 Kadisha, uh, for years I have loved you with an itchy back. <laughs> no, 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 no. For years I have loved you with a white, hot passion which is slowly but surely consuming my very vitals. <laughs> ah, ah, shrink not from me. If there is aught of woman's mercy in your heart, turn not away from a lovesick suppliant ow, whose every fiber thrills at your tiniest touch. True it is that under a poor mask of disgust, I have endeavored to conceal a, uh, a passion whose inner uh, fires are boiling the oil. No, 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 broiling the very soul within me, but the fire will not be smothered. It defies all attempts at extinction, and, um, and, um... B breaking! Yes, breaking, breaking, uh, breaking, breaking, breaking waves. No, 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 breaking wind. <laughs> uh, breaking forth, 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 all the more eagerly for its long restraint. It declares itself in words that will not be weighed, that cannot be schooled, that should not be too severely criticized. Kadisha, I dare not hope for your love, but I will not live without it, <laughs> darling. You, yeah! whose hands still reek with the blood of my betrothed, dare to address words of passion to the woman you have so foully wronged. I do, I do, I do, accept my love or I perish on the spot. Go to, who knows so well as I that no one ever yet died of a broken heart? You know not what you say. Listen. On a tree by a river, a little tom tit sang willow, tit willow, tit willow. And I said to him, 
dicky bird, why do you sit singing willow, tit willow, tit willow? Is it weakness of intellect, birdie, I cried, or a rather tough worm in your little inside? With a shake of his poor little head, he replied, Oh, willow, tit willow, tit willow. He slapped at his chest as he sat on that bough, singing willow, tit willow, tit willow. And a cold perspiration bespangled his brow. Oh, willow. Willow. <coughs> He sobbed and he cried and a gurgle he gave. Then he plunged himself into the bellowing wave. And an echo arose from the suicide's grave. Oh, will, oh, tip, will, oh. Now I feel just as sure as I'm sure that my name isn't Willow, tit willow, tit willow. That was blighted affection that made him exclaim, Oh, willow, tit willow, tit willow. Now if you remain callous, and obdurate I shall perish as he did And you will know why Though I probably shall not exclaim as I die Oh, will, oh, did, will, oh, did, will, oh Intimately. Oh, did you? Oh, he must have been awfully fond of her. His devotion was something extraordinary. Oh, poor little chap. And if I refuse you, will you go and do the same? At once. Oh, no, 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 no. Anything but that. <laughs> oh, I am a silly little goose. <laughs> uh, uh. And you won't hate me if I'm just a teensy weensy wee bit bloodthirsty, will you? <laughs> uh, hate you? Oh, Katish. Oh. Is there not beauty even in bloodthirstiness? My idea? Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> There is beauty in the bellow of the blast. There is grandeur in the growling of the gale. There is eloquent outpouring when the lion is a-roaring and the tiger is a-lashing of his tail. Yes, I like to see a tiger from the Congo or the Niger and especially when lashing of his tail. Volcanoes have a splendor that is grim and earthquakes only terrify the dots. But to him, the scientific, there is nothing that's terrific in the falling of a flight of thunderbolts. Yes, Whoops. in spite of all my meekness, if I have a little weakness, Ooh. it's a passion for a flight of thunderbolts. If that, that is so sing derry dum derry, it's, it's evident very our tastes are one. Away we'll, we'll go, go and merrily, marry not tardily, tarry till day is done. Ooh. <laughs> 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 
There is beauty in extreme old age. Do you fancy you are elderly enough? Information I'm requesting on a subject interesting is a maiden all the better when she's tough. Throw out the wide dominion, it's a general opinion that she'll last a good deal longer when she's tough. Are you old enough to marry, do you think? Oh, yes! Won't you wait until you're 80 in the shade? Oh, no! There's a fascination frantic in a ruin that's romantic. Do you think you are sufficiently decayed? Oh, the matter that you mention, I have given some attention. And I think I am sufficiently decayed. Oh. If that is so, sing daddy down, daddy, it's evident, very odd, it's all on. I will go and never be marry, not hardly tarry till day is done. So sing daddy down daddy, it's evident very out he's the one I will go and merrily marry, not tardly tarry till day is done Daddy down daddy will merrily marry, not hardly tarry till day is done So sing daddy down daddy, it's never and very I'll take so what I will go and never be daddy, no time to tarry till day is done. Daddy down daddy will never be daddy, no time to tarry till day is done. We've had a capital runch and we're quite ready. <laughs> Have all the painful preparations been made? Your Majesty, all is prepared. Then produce the unfortunate gentleman and his well-meaning but misguided accomplices. Hi <laughs> Mercy for Coco. Mercy for the three little peer maids. Mercy even for Poobah. I beg your pardon. Who is Poobah? Don't look at me, sport. I'm Rolf Harris, remember? <laughs> My husband that was to have been is dead. And I have just married this miserable object. Huh. <laughs> You've not been long about it. Oh, we were married before Rolf the registrar. That's right, sport. Trust the registrar. Sure can. <laughs> I see. But my difficulty is, uh, apart from all these R's and L's, <laughs> is that you have slain the heir apparent. The heir apparent is not slain. <gasps> Bless my heart, my son, Nincompoop. <laughs> Nanky Poo, Dad. And your daughter-in-law elected. Oh, yum, yum. <laughs> Traitor! You have deceived me! Yes, you are entitled to a riddle explanation, but I think he will give it better whole than in a riddle pieces. Yes, your majesty, it is true that I stated I had killed Nanky Poo. With most affecting particulars. Oh, yes, or it was merely corroborative detail, or it was intended to give artistic verisimilitude, or... Will you refrain from putting in your oars? Whoa. It's like this. Your Majesty says, let a thing be done. Consequently, it is as good as done. Practically, it is done, because Your Majesty's will is law. Your Majesty says, kill a gentleman, and a gentleman is told off to be killed. Consequently, he's as good as dead. Practically, he is dead. And if he is dead, why not say so? I see. Nothing could possibly be more satisfactory. Oh, he's gone and married yum yum. And if we're married for all, we'll be married. I think you had better succumb and join our expressions of glee. On this subject, I pray you be dumb. Yum, yum. Your notions so many are not worth a penny. The word for your guidance is mum. Yum, yum. You've a very good bargain in me. On this subject, we pray you be dumb. Yum, yum. We think you had better succumb. The 
mountain cloud has passed away. I have drank the golden day. Although the night may come too soon. We
slippery slope If you're both alone Jimmy chop on to the clammy Either way it's a double whammy Couldn't really go Got a lot of scope Put it on the show With a passion that's intense You worship man and all But the laws of common sense are hard
Let's plan 